What's up, guys? It's your boy Ed from Lisa VG. You already know. And today we're going to be showcasing Meg Knight Invoke. This is one of my best decks, one of my favorite decks out of all time. I think that it's a really good deck, and I think that it has a lot of high potential to be one of the best decks in this meta. Uh, I think that right now, currently, this deck could actually be one of the best for this upcoming meta as a rogue deck. I think that this meta is going to be carried by a bunch of rogue decks to be the better decks of the meta or whatever but like i think the most best decks are going to probably be something like shadal invoked and uh dry dry tron honestly uh those are going to be the two best decks those are going to be the meta decks and then everything else is going to be a bunch of rogue decks that are going to do really really well because why not right so let's go ahead and get into this deck profile all right, so getting into this deck profile, I think that Invoked has a lot of flexibility to do really well in most metas. But right now, I think that Invoked can actually really thrive really well. Uh, three Alistars, you already know, you want to open it up. And if you open up an Alistar and you open up an Invocation, that's actually stupid busted too. Because they can Ash or Imperm or negate this. And you're still chilling. It doesn't even matter. Like, you always, 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 always open up an Imperm doesn't matter what uh continuing with the meg knights of course you play the three purple uh i, I have a buddy from uh, germany who's actually shipping me out some of these some more meg knights so i can have everything german because you already know three purple two blues and then this indigo, indigo and then this red i don't have in german but he would actually be shipping that out for me so that's super cool i'm super excited about that and i think these are the correct ratios i would play yellow but i currently don't have one so i am kind of waiting for my buddy to ship me out his and for me to get him so i can actually play that uh two nubiru i think two nubiru is busted i actually played two of these but i can't find my other one right now so, uh i think i let my friend alex borrow them or something i uh, can't remember but this is actually a 42 card count deck don't forget that there is another one of these i think these are good you can actually switch these out now and you don't have to play those anymore because <laughs> because you don't have to play these anymore because tribegate is not a thing anymore but i did play this for a while and i actually built this the day that the ban list actually hadn't gotten announced and i was like i stayed up really late i was trying to build this and i felt really confident about this and then ban list came out and just kind of ruined it uh because of this like i could just switch back into the turtle and i'm chilling like it doesn't even matter but i mean like it helps out that it's such a, a higher higher attacker than the turtle so like that dragoon can just pop it honestly Let's go ahead and continue. Spells, y'all already know. Three pots. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. <laughs> uh, three pots, three meltdowns. Meltdowns hasn't getting hit yet. I don't think that meltdowns should get hit. People keep crying about, oh my god, meltdowns should get hit. <laughs> and yada, yada, yada. No, I don't think meltdowns should get hit. Honestly, people just keep crying about it and it's not going to get hit. The one Mystic Mind, yet not to be hit. <laughs> People keep crying about Meltdown getting hit, Mystic Mind getting hit, like all these cards getting hit. Misk actually got hit. So I was just like, okay, you guys get one out of three. Stop crying about the rest. Uh terraforming of course. You gotta get your three invocation. I think that I think that three invocation is still good. I think that it's busted because like I said, you always, 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 always want to open up one no matter what. These are OT, so the higher the rarity, the more likely chance you are gonna have to have them in your hand. You already know the two red eyes fusions and the one invocation i people don't really like the red eyes fusion but going at two because oh it's a brick or whatever no sometimes it's actually really good because you just activate and then this and then they can't bell they can ash but <laughs> if they think they can't they can't <laughs> uh regeki uh mind control monster reborn Harpy's Feather Duster, Call by the Grave, two Dark Ruler No More. So this is a ghost second deck, as you guys can tell. This is a lot of fun. I'm actually going to play this today at my locals. Uh, today being a Thursday, so I'm going to play that at my locals. I don't know what day I'm uploading this, but today's being Thursday. But this is a lot of fun. Hopefully, I can do well with this deck. I think that this deck doesn't really break for me. I think this deck actually does a lot more uh, than a lot of the other decks that we currently have out and available. Let's go ahead and continue two world legacy successions yeah, or, uh, secrets i'm sorry and then three imperms this is where i put my imperms i actually always forget where i have my imperms and they're always here uh i always build this deck and deconstruct my deck and then always put just stuff back into it and then i always forget uh let's go ahead and continue to the extra deck this deck is too good this deck is too busted people don't have enough love for this deck all mirage and uh artemis uh anima phoenix uh alistair uh crusadia avermax and boro sword um still good i mean like i don't really want to do like um let me show y'all you see all of these different attributes there's two fires 
mostly darks one light one light like there's really not a lot in the graveyard for you to bring out um access code honestly so i don't really recommend it but these are great uh restrict and millennium ice uh restrict and thousand ice because i think that <laughs> i think that if you play instant fusion it's just gonna make your deck a lot better um Algaides being too busted, Purgatrio being busted and being cut down to 2 1 when I knew I used to play 2. Mecha Ball has to stay at 2 no matter what. And then you already know Dragoon and Verde. Um, I'm actually kind of upset that I cut down Purgatrio to 1, but I kind of want to play a lot of the other stuff that I have in here. And I actually do get to resolve a lot of the other stuff that I have here. So let me let me know what you guys think. This is just a quick little deck profile because I wanted to get back into it. And you guys know that I love Mech Knight Invokes. So let me know what y'all think. Thank you guys. See you guys in the comments. Bye.